Hello, this is Marie with another mini video for you today. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. I'll be using this adorable image by La La Land Crafts today called Secret Admirer Luca. And our color combo for today will be E35, Yellow Red 23, and Yellow 23 in Copic markers. And this will make a dark blonde hair color. I'm going to be using my light source coming from your upper left today and that will place everything on your right side shadow. I'm just going to be doing the hair on our mini video, but you can see the Copic colors I used on my step uh, written tutorial. I like to begin to block out where my highlights are going to fall with my very light highlight color. Uh, this is optional, but I again get carried away and I want to make sure I don't hit my highlights. I'm then I'm going to take my very dark shadow side and I'm starting at the very tip of the hair and the back of the crown area with my darkest. Then I will take my mid-tone, which is my yellow red 23, and from the very outer edge of the dark, I will flick upward. The flicking motion I think you caught on my video two weeks ago. That little wrist activity that allows us to blend so easily. Now I'm going to start on the root side and again flick inward toward the direction in which the hair is going. And you'll notice I'm kind of working each little lock of hair as if it was an independent um, image. I'm also working in a very small area at a time. I'm going to divide this one up into like three areas. And my purpose is to keep my ink wet. It will enhance my blending. Now I'm flicking up again with my mid-tone, kind of saving my highlight for last, adding a little bit more E35 to darken just a little bit more. I'm someone who absolutely loves contrast. So I always go back and rework those images. And blending out with my mid-tone, my YR23, and now the final blend of that with my yellow 23, which is my highlight. Again, I avoid going over the highlight too many times because every time you go over a highlight, it will darken your color, and you don't want to lose it. Now I'm going to go over, and I'm going to repeat that process with the other um, side of the hair. The same, very same process. Putting in my shadow side. And I'm going to come up a little bit further with the shadow on this side than I did the other because again this is my side that's in shadow. It's the dark. It isn't getting as much light source as my other side. And then again starting at the hairline and flicking downward a little, trying to reserve places where I'm going to want certain areas to pop up a little bit. Applying the shadow where another lock of hair may, may come over the top. I try to avoid over blending. That's one tip that I have with hair because you do want those strands of hair to show. And my second tip is, is that from the hair root and then the very tip of the hair will be the darkest 
and it will allow the center to have a, a gentle curve on your lock of hair. That will add dimension. You won't get that flat image. Again, applying some E35 to the area just under that front part because it's going to be kind of hid or shadowed a little bit. Another thing I like to do is make sure I don't have uh, the same color bumping up against each other all the time. The, um, you will want um, to have some of the lighter color next to the dark because it will like allow a part of that lock of hair just to to pop up and um, come forward a little bit um, and place some of the other strands in the background. Now to work on the front just a little bit again flicking at the hairline the very root with the darkest color again not blending really well allowing it to kind of fall uh, in between where my highlight is going to be. Flicking upward, then we'll take our mid-tone, blend from the outer edge of the E35 and flick toward the highlight, both from the root side and from the bottom. Flicking toward the center, can see the highlight just begin to take shape. See how it's kind of popping out. And then I will take my highlight, the Y23, and just gently flick over that white area just so my white isn't showing. Some people do prefer to have a little bit. For the most part, I like to cover it with, um, with my lightest highlight. But again, it's a personal preference. Then I like to always look at my image and see where I can add a little bit more definition. And if I want certain locks of hair to pop up a little more, I will go back and add my dark color just to the, the side of it. And see how that makes the lock just pop up a little bit. Gives it a little more dimension. This can always be done as your final step, and that way you won't get too much dark in to begin with. Remember, you can always add darkness, but once you overly um, sh add too much shadow in, uh, all you can do is go darker on your image. So to be sparing with your dark to begin with, you can always go back and intensify your area. I'm happy with um, how the hair looks on this image. I hope you like it too. I hope you come back soon. <laughs>